G'day, how you going? Ian Apolis here, your acrylic guru from Australia. Welcome to my video. I've been asked by a couple of people, how do I pack and post my paintings when they've been sold? So this is a quick short video of how I pack up my paintings and get them all wrapped up ready for delivery to be posted out to the person who's buying it, okay? So I'll just show you down here on my table what I've got. Okay, from the hardware store, I bought a roll of plastic. It's billed as plastic, plastic film. It's just plastic. It's, it's doubled over a few times, and I found the appropriate size that suits me, and I get quite a lot of packaging out of that. And this is virtually the width of the panel that I'm posting, so I cut it to that size. And... Once it's doubled out, there's enough to put one painting, okay? So I need to, I use my plastic. I have the painting itself and greaseproof paper, my, my appropriate labels that I need to put on the painting, bubble wrap, I'll just move that out the way. Um, oh, some cardboard, protective cardboard, a knife, uh, my packing tape and its dispenser and some normal sticky tape. So now what I'll do is I'll show you how I put the painting packed up. Now on the back it has my label on there, my name, the tutorial number. Okay, first thing I will do is I'll get everything on this side of my table, my bench. Now you need a decent sized bench to do this. I'll start off with the painting. The bench has been cleaned. Now, I'll put the painting there. I'll pull my, this is just baking paper from the supermarket. That's greaseproof paper. This painting has been varnished and I virtually pull it out the length of it, a bit longer than the length, and double it again. Okay, and then make sure there's no dirt or anything in there. This is an opportunity where you can put, I don't have any photos or anything, but I just wrap this up and you can put something in there for, to present to the buyer as well. So you're getting that opportunity to say hello to But with this buyer, I'm starting to take photos with my paintings and I send them that photo and they can print it out and keep it onto the back of the painting. And this is where you need the tape. I just virtually tape up the greaseproof paper onto the painting, okay? Just like that. Okay, I'm not sure if I mentioned scissors, but you're going to need a pair of scissors as well. Now, this is, I bought this from the hardware store as well. Get yourself some bubble wrap. Unfortunately, um, this was the right thickness for my panels. So you can get different sizes of this stuff. So I just roll this out. And how I get the appropriate amount, very easy, I get the painting and I'm virtually leaving it enough on the end there and flipping it over as well. Grab the scissors, come past the end of it a bit and I'll just trim that off. Okay, now bubble wrap has a smooth side and a bubbly side. So the smooth side is here. So I want that smooth side against my painting, okay? And the face of my painting, I have all the double ups, if anything, on the, the, the painting side of it. So it's just giving it that bit more extra protection. And there's the middle of it. I normally come off the middle of it a bit, doesn't matter. And I've, I've got a, the same amount on each side. Okay, then I'll bring that over there, hold it down and pull that reasonable there. And I'm just using the normal sticky tape to tape this down so it's going to hold. Then I'll use the packing tape and just tape that seam together so everything's nice and firm. Then I'll fold this over. and tape that down on the ends there and a couple in the middle just to keep it together. Now that's 
protecting the top edge, the side edges, and the bottom edge of the painting, okay? And like I said, everything is doubled over on the painting side to give the painting that extra protection. Worst case scenario, the back of the painting is prone to more damage compared to the front, okay? Now that that's done, I want to put my cardboard around this, okay? All right, this is some cardboard. I bought from the hardware store as well. It's like protective board you when you're painting a house or you can put it on your floors or whatever. I bought a big roll of it and I've cut it out to the appropriate size. It has labelling on it, but that doesn't matter. Now what I've gone and done, I've put the painting on roughly the middle of it and I've drawn a line with a pen and roughly the thickness of the pen, I've gone and drawn another line. Then I just simply grab a knife, something not too sharp, but not too blunt, and I score down these lines. I'm scoring probably a third of the way through the cardboard, okay? And that allows me some beautiful, neat, folds I can do with on the cardboard instead of it being restricted and squashing things. Now you can virtually make there we go. Okay. Now what I will do I will put the painting in here and that is the right side. I'll first just get a this one's a bit short for some. Oh, I know why. This is on a canvas. This was not a. This I've got cut out for my canvas panels, but this actual painting is on an MDF board. Now I'm just going to tape that up. Now I want to show you something before I finish taping this. The I've got the cardboard that's protecting the painting there. And it's a little bit wider than the panel, so it's got a, it's, whatever hits here is not hitting the edge of the painting. The painting's within that edge, okay? Then I go a bit crazy and take these ends together. Okay, just like that. There we go, the ends are taped together, and if you want, you can... Depends on... If you get carried away using one of these guns, go for it. keeping everything together. The, the painting's in there now, and now I come to my plastic wrapping. Okay, that's all wrapped up sufficiently. There's the front of the painting, there's the back. Now I'll grab my builder's plastic. I just make, sometimes this has, has white print on it, but there's nothing on this. Because you can buy plastic envelopes for posting overseas, but they cost about $15, so this plastic cost me next to nothing for each painting, okay? So this is probably going to be too narrow, oh no, that's right enough. So what I do, I wrap it around, and I just get it tacked down with the smaller tape, and then I will get it ready for the larger packing tape. I tuck that in there like that, so that's. if I just lift it up, it could not put double layer onto, onto that edge of the painting. So I've tucked that down in there, just pulled it up. Get this all ready. Same on the other side. you can fold the corners. Now make sure you fold that in like that and then bring it around. 
just holds. I use this smaller tape to hold it down so the packing tape can be put on with ease because the packing tape is what's going to hold it. So I'll just do the, the seam. the two ends. Okay, now it's ready for labelling. Now with my labelling, I've discovered these stickers. They stick on there, but they can come off very easily. I've discovered that, I've tested it, and the same with the the post office label as well. If that's just stuck to the actual plastic, it can be removed very easily or get removed within transit on conveyor belts or something. And I found on top of this tape, it sticks like glue, it's great. So what I do, check your surfaces. I go the width of my packaging three times with this tape. At the top, because the post office likes to put their code bars up here at the top of your painting. So I, I used to put it in the middle or down the bottom, but now I've learned at the top, it just looks for a needed packaging to come into the mail for somebody. Everything's up in the top. So that is ready for labelling. Now, I've printed out the person's name. And that'll go here. And then, I've got, I've got to fill this out, sorry, and then I can stick that on there, and that's ready to take to the post office. So to save me time in the post office, that's all ready to go to be put on the scales and they do their thing there. I'm not doing all this in the post office wasting time. I'd like to just have that ready. It's all packed now, protected from the cardboard, the bubble wrap, the grease proof paper. Um, that's pretty much how I wrap my painting when they're going to be sold and I've got to ship them overseas somewhere, okay? So that's how I wrap my paintings. Okay, I hope you like this short video on how to pack your paintings for sale. If you like what I do, tell your friends, but if you don't, tell everybody, alright? All the best, goodbye, good luck, good on ya!